So now I'm gonna teach you the, the foot locks and the knee bars, okay? It's gonna be a shortcut for you win the competition. On the other times, people, people, people didn't like doing foot locks or, or knee bars. It's, it's like uh, uh, against the, the, the sport competition. Yeah? But I always saw the, 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 foot, the, the foot lock or, or the knee bar, it's, it's a shortcut for, for, for the podium. Yeah? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you the, the principles of the, the leg lock. show you the straight foot lock now as soon as I I, uh, I can reach the, 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 the legs or can reach the foot I wanna I gonna try to first thing I I, 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 I gonna do is try to put the, the his shin under my armpit so I start to to work here for I reach and I put myself in the position like here for I get, so I just press here. As soon as I press here, I wanna try to block the other leg first. So. So, I have this control here, and I have this control here, okay? So, if I want to take this leg, I don't, I don't lie down straight. I stay on my side. And, as it, and when I want to be on my side, when I have this situation here, I have the, uh, the, the leg trapped here, and this is, uh, uh, is pressing to the ground, I don't go lie down and go to the straight, uh, go, go the, the, to the... To the foot lock straight so I gonna lie down to the side to my side and on top of the other leg yeah or when I'm here I gonna step and lie down and I gonna squeeze everything here why I put this foot this avoids him to escape the hip and makes him spread and avoid him to get this foot to submit because I don't know why but every time that you go for the foot lock or leg lock the opponent goes as well he thinks like a mindset of him he he thinks ah, I'm, I'm being attacked, they're gonna attack the, the foot as well. It's very common. Most of the people that start to do the leg lock, he got trapped on leg lock on the same, on, on, on the same time, on the same situation. It's funny. And so I have here, and this foot I need to stop because he gonna go for this foot or he gonna go for this one. If I let this foot here, he gonna get my foot and bye bye yeah not bye bye but it's not good i don't want it so i this foot i need to hide hide and i pinch the knees together i pin the knees together and the thing that is important is my my hip that needs to go forward because sometimes people have the foot here and people want to straight away like straight uh, straight straight away like take this and lie down I want to push the guy there now you need to pin the, the knees and you start to walk trying to take to touch my back on his back See? So I walk 
backwards. I mean, I don't need to straight or try to give a space. I need to be close and walk. Close and walk. It, so, if I'm here, he opened the guard for somehow, or I'm here, as soon as I trap the leg, I block and lie down on top of the other leg. It's very important. So you can go a little forward and lie down, or you can put the foot and lie down. So there is the, the lock and load, the people call, it's like lock and load. So lock and load, you understand? Put the ankle next to my armpit because you need to, to do this if you press here you don't have strength enough but if you press on the toes you have leverage so the toes need to be next to my armpit so it can't be deep like this doesn't work i need to be like that the toes next to my armpit and i press very well with my 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 elbows against my ribs okay so i'm gonna go for this side now so i have this situation here that i i i have the the, the, the foot red and the other the other grip here so i'm gonna put my my my, my weight on top of the other the other leg and lie down and now i press and start to walk a bridge this bridge like is very important i try to put the, the top of my head backwards like look backwards so i bench my, my whole back doing like this is important the hip goes forward okay So from, from here, if I have the opponent here, for somehow I get the, the leg, the, 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 so I'm here working and then one, two, three, and I'm in on my side. Sometimes it's difficult to go back, but the bridge is here. So I'm gonna bridge. <laughs> Sometimes I can't go back, but my hip is here and I'm gonna do the bridging. The, the straight foot lock, the white belts, they can do so for you do properly you need to to close very well here and do the hip thing sometimes you don't feel comfortable to lie down for you do the, the leg lock but you keep stand up stand it. so i'm here fight bam 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 in course, I, I touch him and then I'm gonna go for the leg. Boom, this is mine, go. See, I don't go like, eh, oh, freak. I just go with me, the, 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 the sneaky thing is, I, I try to approach with my whole body, you understand? So I have my base and I have this one here, okay? Now, as soon as I lock and load, and I don't gonna lie down now. I can hold here, I can hold here, just here. Hold. Sorry. Yeah, we here, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna step forward. One, two, If I 
step forward, and his flex were enough for he roll and bench himself. I keep doing. It's like this. I have here the control and pass the guard, and then I'm lock and load, and then I'm gonna go forward. One, two, three. See how he's now. What I have to do is press base, hip forward, look back. This kind of movement, hip forward. I'm gonna show you now the, the leg lock from the, the, the closet guard. I'm gonna show you the leg lock from the closet guard. So, <clears throat> so I have him trapped on my guard here, okay? And he gonna start to stand up to open the guard. One, two, okay. He has this, this arm here, and I have this arm free, okay? What I'm gonna do is attack the, the leg that I have the reach. Take this arm here. If he has this arm, I'm gonna go for this leg, okay? What I have to do is, I open the guard, and I'm gonna go for the knee bar. I twist my hip. I don't care if he's holding here anything. I can hold anything as well, okay? I can reach and hold anything, just that. So this knee comes inside and this leg goes on top and I get the leg here. When I get the leg, I wanna try to stay on the top of my head. Hold it, hold on. Eh? And I had the leg here. And he fall down, two points, all right? And I have seated here, and I need to hold the, the, the ankle. The same way I do the arm bar, I have a bridge, or like that, on top of the other, a bridge. What I have to do here is put my hip next to do his, 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 uh, to his thigh here, and this one, I pull there, there, and there. So I'm very attached here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push my hip forward, yeah? If I have the foot here, I can attack here, the foot, or even put this hand back and bridge. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a, a foot lock uh, rowing from the, from uh, passing the guard, so. He's there, he's doing guard, okay? So, there is two ways to do this. One is when you put yourself in the half guard, that you put yourself there, and then you reach do the other side. So you put yourself on the half guard and you have this foot to attack. So the, 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 the teeny thing on the teeny toe here, I hold, like hold the toes. I up and hold, okay? Now I gonna roll and I gonna reach the, 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 the so I'm going to roll and I'm going to reach the foot and trap the leg. 
Now I have here the foot here, and I'm gonna go the toe hole. As soon as I have the foot here for to go to the to the foot to the to, to the toe hole here, I need to press. I need to 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 press here on the ankle. So I need to do this. And I put the foot close to my body. And then this hand goes like a real naked choke here on the foot. And then I have to press here and twist like that. Because if I just go this way, this way doesn't work well. Because people are flexible to to, to take this one. But as soon as you put your fingers on top and twist like this, or you press side and twist like that, it's very different. And what you have to do is hold, put next to your body, and use even the whole body to twist the foot. gonna do again to the other side so I'm here I'm gonna put myself on the half guard I have the toes and roll I have the toe press and go okay now I'm gonna show you a leg lock passing the guard going to knee bar. I'm gonna show you the knee bar. This knee bar, I'm passing the guard and I'm gonna put the, my, the, the next, the closest knee on stomach. I call the wrong knee because when you will do knee right, we hear. Now I, I call the wrong knee. You put the wrong knee on stomach and you pin your knees and stay on your toes like this. Now I have what? I have here the, the, this leg to attack. So I can go for the straight foot lock or I can go for the toe hole here, okay? So the straight foot lock, we need to put here on the lock and load so as soon as I'm here I'm gonna try to block the, the, the knee and go straight to the ankle I go and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go put my weight on top of the other legs on the other leg so I'm here and I'm gonna lie down to this way So I'm here passing the guard and I'm gonna go for the foot next to his body, put the weight on top. I had the wrong knee because they're not, they're, they're not the, the, the classic knee on stomach. I pin my knees together and I'm gonna go for the straight foot lock. As soon as I go, I put this knee on the floor, there, wet and lie down. And I'm here on the side. What I have to do here, is I can start to, to walk back like this and push or I can stay like this and put very close in here and I need to put my hip forward yeah I bring him to me yeah pin the knees and bridge on this situation I can, I'm here, so I'm passing the guard and I put the knee there and stop here. Now I'm gonna go here for the Americana, oh, the, Amer uh, 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 the, the toe hole here. So as soon as I, I'm here, I have the, the, the foot and sometimes 
I don't feel like lie down there, but I go just boom, boom. And twist. Sometimes I sip the, the foot here. Oh, what is this? Bang, bang. And go. Yeah. Because sometimes he wants to push. Oh, he wants to check. He, he, he's working here. So I'm here. If, if I see the foot here, I hold. Here, he put the foot there, I hold. Go. Okay? So I have this situation here that I'm passing the guard. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I'm gonna go for the knee bar here from inside. So I have this, a little control here. Oh, I, I want, I like it to, to hold on the ankle or on the toes here. Or I hold it like this, or I hold it like this. No gi. If I have gi, I can hold it here or here. I don't put the thumb inside. It's not allowed. So I'm here, I, I like to use this grip. I use this a lot. And because it works with no gear as well. So I'm gonna go for this knee. So I have to stop here, approach, and I put my knee here and I sit on the floor. I'm here. I'm, not, I'm sitting on his belly actually. And I'm gonna lie down. I'm gonna lie down this way. Because it's better for me. Because if I'm here and I lie down this way for somehow he has this foot to kick my butt. Kick, yeah, see? He has this foot. That's why I always lie down on top of the other leg. So if I'm here and I want to attack this leg, I'm gonna lie down to the other one. So I'm here. I get it here, sit on top of hip and walls, and I have this one. So I pin my knees together and bridge. I pin, bridge. When I, I have this one here, no worries. I can be here or I can be there, bring him, okay? Don't worry. If if you, if you have this here, what I suggest is put your hip next to, to your heel, like here, next. And now it's good for you pin and bridge, pin and bridge. If you put it like this, huh? even better, pin and bridge. Okay. The other situation here is when we, we get the, the, the foot and instead we go inside, we're gonna go from outside. So we're here and I'm gonna go here and there. You see, on the last time, this foot was like here and the other here. Now it's opposite, this one here and the other here. I even prefer this one because this foot is good to hook, it, hook it, the hip and bring to me to make him very bold. It's very bad. It's it's very bad situation for him because I pin my knees, I pull his hip together uh, to me, and I bridge. Yeah, always put the foot next to your face here or to your head for you bridge better. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you one foot lock. Uh, it's, uh, it's very unusual, but I, I've been using this for a long time. Yeah, and people, and people uh, from the, the, the fit team, they, they use this in real. I learned it there uh, with Emmanuel, the black belt of Fabrice. So, The situation here is 
when he start to 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 stand up to open the guard he starts to start stand up to open the guard and I have this hand free or if he holds here I'm gonna go for the other hand so I need one hand free if I have two hands trapped I need to release one how I do this I put the hand behind my my forehead and and I break the grip so I have this on free what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the, 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 my head next to his foot and now I'm gonna I wanna try to to put the 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 the, the top of his toes next to my ear so I, I need to the, the grip here I need to grip hand with hand so I put my ear here and I start to if I hold it here even better here so I start to try to touch my face on his on his foot and then I press with my head his toe his toes I press with my head his toes So again, he gonna stand up. As soon as he stands up, I get the here and I gonna go for the sweep. How I do the sweep? I keep my guard closed and I put my weight on this leg here. So I twist my my body and I do strength here, pulling the, the ankle to my head. So I do this and go. I, and I submit. Okay, all the situation for the, the, the knee bar here is when I have him trapped on the, my half guard, okay? And if he is sprawl on me, it is difficult, all right? But if I have the shield, the knee, Oh, I have my hand here, like a trunk here, stopping him, okay? I, I have to, to, to stop him, like I stack here. Eh? So I need, I, I, I want to go for this foot, this knee here. What I'm gonna do is reach under, under here, okay? Can you see? I reach under. And I'm gonna push him, or push the shoulder, or push the head, push the shin. I like to push the shin because it's difficult to him to, to avoid. If I push the shoulder, he put the pressure and he, maybe he can come. If I have the, the shield here, it's more difficult, okay? It depends. I need to go for this, this leg, and this foot, it can come from inside or it can come from outside. Inside, I need to push him and go here for the knee bar. When you have the, the leg here, you can do, you cross your feet, bring this he his hip to me for I go. If I straight the legs like this and pin his thigh, he go. If I close the triangle and this in this foot and this ankle brings me him to me is good. What I can't do is close like that because my foot is is very like that. Uh, my because my foot is very vulnerable i don't want my foot vulnerable here 
So I'm gonna cross like here. He can't uh, reach here, here, or even here. Put your forehead here to press. If you don't have strength with your hand, use your forehead. Again. So I'm here, I'm doing half guard, and then bang. Okay, boom. Here, or there, or here, or here. Okay. If I go outside, because I show you passing the, the here, but what I actually do, this is for small guys, they have short legs. My legs are too long for I take my foot out, be stacked here somewhere. So I reach where I want. I keep I space uh, with him, and this leg goes outside. Whoop! And I'm here again. de bola, obrigado. Thank you very much. Us. Us. Thank you. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the the class. We're gonna have this much more times. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start to to film many many seminars i'm gonna start to film a lot of techniques for, for for get better your your competitions your training and i'm gonna give give you some tips for the mindset for you training better for you compete better and for you get better results on competition yeah you 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 can you can be like me, 80% of the competitions, I, I have medals. So it's good, it's good for, because you travel for to, to fight, you, you train a lot, you need at least a medal for you show, for your team, for yourself, and for your family, okay? And be in your curriculum, okay, your CV. And have fun traveling, competing. Get paid for it. If you you can get a, 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 a sponsorship for you travel, for you fight. So you're gonna earn money doing what you like, what you like as a hobby, what you like as lifestyle. Yeah, jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is a lifestyle. So. If you, if you earn money doing what you like, you don't work at all, isn't it? Okay. Thank you.